Hey, how you doing? Thank you, Electro, for the hundred bits. That's very kind of you. I don't know why you gave them to me so soon, but thank you. Anyway. Ah, oh, damn, I forgot to open up Minecraft. Well, stream's gonna get a little laggy. That should be fine. Yeah, I'm sorry about being so late. Um, what happened is that because of the whole um, data breach thing, uh, the like, uh, Twitch decided to reset my stream key, so I had to do uh, like re-implement that. So I had to reset my OBS. I had to log in to Twitch again. So I had to get the uh, new Twitch login key and all sorts of shit. It, it took me a minute. Really wasn't expecting it. Water is good for you. Always drink. Yeah, the stupid breach. Yeah. Yeah. I even. Because of the whole thing, I also reset my password. Um, so, yeah. Phoenix, can't believe it. You're actually here. Things might get a little laggy, so get ready.
Well, ain't that just a son of a bitch? I don't have permission to talk into my own chat. Whenever I try to type in chat, it just says I don't have permission to take this action. Like... Yeah, I, I, I'm not allowed to talk in my own chat. That is weird. Hang on, what I'm going to do is re-log in. Oh, am I having a really bad delay? Hang on, I think I can fix that.
did did that work or <clears throat> Okay, I can tape again. Yay! Yeah, I just had to re-log in for some reason. Is it really that bad? Well, we'll figure it out. Let's just get into the game, huh? Still a bad delay, probably on my end. Big delay. Me view. My status. Frame both the rendering lag. Skipped frames due to encoding lag. Thank you for the stretch, I'll get to that really quick. Oh, I can't reset that, but. Here, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to really quick reset the stream. down already. Oh my goodness, this is a huge lag spike. Ah, oh, damn it. It's gonna fail, isn't it? I think that should be better. <laughs> All right, let's get into this then.
<laughs> Let's break it again. Yeah. Nothing like logging in with a chicken on your head. A chicken in your head. Wait. Nothing like logging with a chicken in your hand. Yeah. 59 of them, actually. I don't know how I can carry so many chickens, but, you know. I'm sorry, I can't read. I failed the fourth grade. It's, it's a real problem. Quiet your stomach. What are you guys doing? <clears throat> and I'm out of dirt. No way, I have a little bit of grass. Nomming. I guess I can't complain. Simple as that. Mm. Oh yeah, you gave me a stretch lecture. My bad. Still have no idea what was going on earlier, but still. Glad we could have gotten resolved. My stomach is growling so hard. It yearns for food that it's already eaten. Or maybe it's upset with what I ate. You like omelets. Well, then again, it was a store-bought omelet. Maybe I should just make my own. I mean, I do sometimes. I plan on doing it tonight. More omelets. I already ate, though. That's the problem. I'm in the wrong area. really coming together it already looks so good wow I am out of breath for some reason what the fuck dort 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 the dort
Dort. The sacred. The sacred term Dort. How do you get it to face the other way? Oh. You're talking to Electro, not me. I'm not important enough to be talked to. You only want to talk to a real streamer. I know you do. You and I had a lot of fun talking yet last night, didn't we? Oh, that was that was fun. That was really fun. Okay, I'll stop. I'll stop. So much dork. And I have so much more.
Oh boy. This is probably going to take me a while. Not that it's a bad thing. Night time already. Oh, geez. Okay, focus, Jack, focus. Don't get distracted with the beautiful landscape. deliver that. Uh, hmm. <laughs> okay, so, um, veering off of that question, just imagine this, like, Santa's real, and you ask him to give you a house, and he gives you a set of keys and an address. You go to that house, you use the keys and walk in, and the house is already occupied. Just, I, I think that'd be hilarious. <laughs> Bro. 
break in. <laughs> Oh, hey, Angel. What's up? What am I up to? I'm doing some landscaping. As you can see, I'm trying to fill in some areas with dirt. Oh yeah, Angel. Um, bit of an update. I think I've decided on what my next big project's going to be. I know everyone's basically been doing it themselves, but I'm thinking of making my very own mall. And because it's me, it, you know it's gonna be a big, big build. Not quite as big as the Coliseum, but still big. Yeah, I already have a design and everything. sleep I was sleeping not that long ago I just really like making big builds I'm, I'm sorry maybe it's a reflection because I have a bigger build jack-o'-lantern a sleeping stream I think that's actually against twitch's terms of service I mean, I've fallen asleep. Um, I've fallen asleep on stream before. I have fallen asleep before. Yes, English language just escapes me sometimes.
know, I do miss the days of Twitch where, like, random um, uh, employees of Twitch will just kind of show up in your stream and just, like, chat with you. I miss those days. They don't do that anymore. It's ever since Bezos bought them. Or was it after Bezos bought them that they were still doing that? I can, I can have a cool batch by my name. Every time I hear Bezos' name, all I think about is my friend Jack making his card. Interesting. Okay. Hey, Dusky. I'm dumb, that's why. Oh, hey, tradesman. Can you push me, please? I beg of you. I mean, that's typically the plan.
they do that? Okay, Drisbin, what do you got? Ah, oh, you got some horn coral, a bunch of dyes, some podzol, eh. Stop landscaping for now and focus on construction. Or I guess de demolition, really. If you see spinning spotlight and spinning spotlight, time to pass expiration. It's nice. An astro body is any kind of entity that exists in space. Technically speaking, um, the Earth is an astro body. The Sun is an astro body. Every planet in the solar system is an astro body. Actually, I should probably repair these tools. No, lunar bodies are things like the moon or certain satellites for certain planets. Oh man, is it too late for you today? Damn it. All right. Yes, this is true. You are in space, but you are not a spatial. You're not an astro body because you're not solely floating in space. You're on an astro body.
So astronauts are astro bodies. If they're floating solely in space, in a way, I guess. Yes, Desky. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Define humanity in three words. Social. Stupid. Intelligent creatures. I guess that's four words. Just social, stupid, intelligent. We're one of the most social creatures in the world because we are capable of basically befriending anything that lives in this planet. We are stupid because of just how stupid we can be but we're also one of the most intelligent species in the entire planet no we are intelligent see the thing is is that intelligence does not exactly define morals or morality or even understanding it just means that someone is capable of understanding the greater sense of who they are Basically speaking, a sense of understanding and intelligence would be the ability to perceive yourself as something beyond just eat, sleep, breed, you know? This is why humans are so intelligent, why we've come so far in technological advancements. Yes, we've done a lot of stupid things in the means of those technical technological advancements, but still... The sheer fact that we've managed to get this far really says something about humanity. Why am I over here? I, I'm not done yet. Existential crisis with jacket. What are you saying? Aliens are the one reason why we like this? Or are you saying lizard people are the ones? Honestly, if there was such a thing as Homo Reptilius, I really think that we would have known by now. some tropical fruit Kool-Aid because Kool-Aid tastes good okay I while struggling why are you strangling a Pikachu plushie what did that Pikachu plushie ever do to you
I know you said snuggling, but I wanted to make it funny. Forgive me. Desky, I understand that you may have a bit more of a pessimistic view on the world, but to me, I'm pretty sure humans are capable of understanding things like this. They have a fundamental understanding of what they're doing, just a lot of them don't care. That's the problem. just understanding things. Yeah, it's also perception. And that's exactly what I was trying to make an argument for. We perceive things in a very unique light. Most creatures will just eat, sleep, you know, breed, and try and survive. We actively try and go beyond that. We try to explore. We try to you know, live in unique environments. We're one of the most adaptable species in the entire world. I may be a bit optimistic sometimes, but still, I like to think that we as humans are capable of extraordinary feats. We've done it in the past. Yeah, we have bad apples, but they're the loud minority. Did, did something just die? But I said that we are stupid, but we're also intelligent. You have to understand, humans are self-destructive by nature. We often go against our better judgment, what we actually want, just for the sake of something arbitrary. Those are our base instincts. That's just how we are. That's how most creatures are. We'll do things counterproductive just so we can survive or just so we can achieve some sort of base need. But the thing is that humans are capable of understanding that. They're capable of going beyond that. They're capable, they, humans are one of the only creatures in the world that are willing to put up with stupid suffering just to make life a little bit easier for themselves. No, because people, what people are doing is counterproductive towards surviving. How? We live, per, we live sustainable, well not sustainable, but we live comfortable lives. And you're, is that, that's right. Dasky, I don't get 
you. I don't get people who have such a pessimistic look on life. Honestly, I really like being a human. I like living. I think that, yeah, through its flaws, humans are still a good species. We're still capable of compassion and love and understanding. Yes, Devsky. I know that. I know that technically speaking, the world is fucked. And I'm not going to deny that, nor should I. But that doesn't mean that everything is bleak. We should stride to make the future look positive, but we shouldn't forget the present. This is the kind of thing that I live by. Look forward to the future, but focus on the present. And I'm not saying that we need to, like, not focus on, oh, it's going to happen, like, hundreds of years from now. Who cares? No. We need to put in the effort now. But that doesn't mean that we need to... Look. Desky, if it really means that much, then why aren't you doing something about it? And I'm not trying to, like, antagonize or victim blame or anything like that. I'm saying, it's like, we need a plan. We have a plan. I don't know, I just, I, I, I don't want to just think in a negative light. Like, the world is dying, yes, I will agree on that, but that doesn't mean that I need to suffer for it. I'm enjoying my present, but I am trying my damnedest to make sure that my part, it means something. I don't want this world to just willfully ignore the situation at hand. I don't want people to lose their minds over, you know, every little detail. Not every single one's going to do that. It's the, it's the job of us, the people who actually acknowledge that this is happening and want something to change that need to do something. not doing something because it's so goddamn freaking scary like I have sort of people and things in a lot of my goals and my orbs and stuff like that. Dude, I just want to get and go mad because there is no way to solve it. There is a way to solve it. It may take hundreds of years, but if we can finally get a lot of these people's heads out of their asses and take things like climate change and um urbanization seriously we can realize that a lot of what we're dealing with can be resolved we don't have hundreds of years desky the world isn't going to die tomorrow we still have time and I'm not saying that as we still have time, so don't worry about it. I'm saying we still have time to fix it.
tens of thousands for out of their homes already. I know. No, it's not. Yellowstone hasn't fully erupted yet. Yeah, it's it's spewing out gas and stuff, but it hasn't erupted. We'd know if it erupts. Oh, you're talking about climate change. Yeah. But still, guy, desky, 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 desky. Calm down. Calm down. Just calm down. It's just that I'm just a guy. I understand that, you know, we need to put in our efforts. But I can't solve climate change. And that doesn't mean that I need to be upset about it. Well, I, I'm upset about it. I, I shouldn't have to freak out over it. The world's not going to end. Because there are people out there who want to fix it. And they're going to. The world is still alive. I guarantee you, there is change on the horizon. What are you questioning, Phoenix? What happened? Oh! I, I lost connection there for a minute. My bad. Desky. You do realize that age and understanding don't correlate, right? You understand that the world is in jeopardy. You understand that despite your age. So you're saying, okay, are you saying that your age is your excuse on not doing anything? Not raising awareness? Not doing anything about it? No. For crying out loud, look at Greta. Greta was 14 when she started her uh, es escapades.
a scared kid who doesn't know what the fuck to do? Say something. Do some research. There are plenty of articles. There are plenty of research papers. There's plenty of everything for you to understand the situation and how to best resolve it. The world isn't going to die in a day. There are people who are actively trying to fix it, and there has been notable change. Okay, listen, Jack. Okay, I will listen. isn't my mess no but it is going to be on us to fix it because the people who did make the mess refused to clean up their mess you know, obviously this isn't my mess but I'm still going to try my damnedest to fix it Yeah, remember, a lot of a lot of people of my generation and my generation before me were having to deal with this shit. And it sucks. It really does. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to see the whole world as a bleak, horrible thing. I just... I want people to understand that no matter how bad it gets, if we just try to do better than we did yesterday, it'll get better. Hey, Lash, we're talking about existential shit right now, so if you don't want to be a part of that, dip out. Desky, one, that was a very eloquent way of speaking. And two, you need to just calm down. Honestly, Desky, I don't know what you're coming from or what you're saying.
traveling tradesmen? What are you doing over there? There's one over there. What? So many traveling tradesmen. Can't be possible that a bunch of kids job to save the world. But Devsky. What did I miss in the stream? You're missing existentialism. Rise. But Desky, I hate to tell you this. You know I do. But it is going to be on the shoulders of your and my generation to fix this shit and future generations. Desky, the sheer fact that you're freaking out over it right now proves that you are capable of thinking about it. Why is that? Why is it that you think that you are incapable of understanding something that you clearly have some sort of understanding in? guys do realize that, for example, if humans just, like, died off as a race, like, we just ended up not existing anymore, that wouldn't fix anything, right? Around one, two years ago, I began thinking of this shit, and I felt the all day long into a rabbit hole, depression, anxiety, and one burnout. I think... You're thinking pretty heavily on it. Which, you know, in my opinion, means that you're capable of understanding it. You may not be able to comprehend what solutions we may have, but that doesn't mean that it's, it's impossible. You know, I found like 90% of sharks have died in the past years because of us. No, Devsky, you can do some simple research. Like, what plastics go into recycling, One, which ones can't. Understand, like, certain alternative energy sources. Try and understand how much it would cost to do some, certain things um, more efficiently and better for the world. It's not hard. I did it in, like, a day.
Why can't you? Why can't you do it? Clearly, age has nothing to do with it. And you clearly have a basic understanding of this, so why can't you go further? Look, I, I'm just trying to understand you, because when I was at your age, I was capable of understanding this shit. Yeah, but you know what? I saw hell in the world, and you know what I thought? How can I fix it? And yeah, it's not going to be easy. But that doesn't mean that we all have to feel shitty about it. Look, all I'm trying to say, well, all I'm trying to do is say this. I just want to relax here. Games are supposed to be an escape, not a medium of trying to figure out existential problems for our generation. Maybe we should. Because clearly things like this, it's way too, it's way too much. These discussions are way too much. Especially when we have such varying ideas of the world and viewpoints. You're free to use my Discord. I'm in the exact same wave lash. View differing viewpoints can really open someone's eyes, but when they aren't willing to keep an open mind on it and are just rigid in their beliefs, that's when arguments happen. Whether it's one side or the other. We'll be on Mars soon enough. Oh man. Stuff like this, where two entities aren't willing to listen to each other, or at least <clears throat> say one entity is willing to listen to the other but the other one isn't, it's exactly why I don't like having these kinds of discussions with my father. 
He is so rigid in his understanding of the world that if you try and challenge it, he will actively scream at you. He'll turn it into a shouting match just so he can get his way, and you agree with him. That's why I don't like doing stuff like this with my father. Oh, that was a juxtaposition rise. Yeah, I don't think we can actually make an ozone on Mars. I think we're going to be living in glass domes at that point. chocolate chip fudge with wait mint chocolate chip brownies with fudge chunks that sounds amazing Desky. We've been over this. When emotes? <sighs> I don't know. He's still working on them. It's taken a while. As I asked him to kind of remake some of this stuff yeah it's gonna take a while I'll message him later and if he responds ooh, I gotta let me finish up this row and then I'm gonna have to dip out because it is almost four started over there on that quarter and then somehow I ended up over here prioritizing over here too I find that funny anyway let's get out of here one time since you hired them well yeah but I also asked them to remake something and it takes a while for that stuff like that not to mention they're making three emotes and several other things for me so it's gonna take a while it's not just one image. Don't you dare end. I have to! Unless you can provide me with, like, I don't know, we can terraform Mars. Please do not spend two thousand dollars at once. Okay. 
Wait, what's your question? How much would I make up for this? Shit? Well, let's see. If we go into calculator mode, uh, let's see. Clear. So. I would make, before tax, $157.50. If I gave you 150 uh... The reason I said 2000 is because that is an extraordinary amount of money. You see, okay, here's my plan on this, guys. Let me let me explain this. The reason I say 250 no, $2500 or $2500 per month is because that is slight that is around the ballpark of how much I make now. Now, if someone, like, say I did accumulate that much money in one month, I still wouldn't do that because I need a guarantee on that being a um, stable source of income. So I would probably wait, like, maybe three or four months of that happening. How big of a beard do I have? It's not that big. It's like maybe a few centimeters long. Well, I did sh trim it down recently, so. Okay, 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 okay. I have to get going, sadly. I'm sorry, Rice, but I have to. It's just the way things are. Just go poor. Okay, if I go poor, how am I supposed to do this? I kind of need money for things like electricity and the internet. For the... Look. McDonald's free Wi-Fi. Yeah, but I can't do that every single day. Alright. Honestly, if there was a way, I would try and avoid work. But unfortunately, no one has the capacity to give me enough money to do so. So, I have to go to work. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, bye, Jack. I'll miss you. Have a great day. Yeah, you too. Have a great day, Rice. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I really do appreciate it. And I will be back tomorrow with some... Friday Night Minecraft, which means there's going to be other people. I don't know if we're all going to be in chat or we're going to just be talking through Minecraft. But still, but still. Until then, keep being awesome, guys. See ya.